Under what circumstances, if any, would you vote to close Minneapolis Public School? Uh, I would never vote to close an MPS school. Uh, as an MPS parent, I've experienced a school closing with myself. Um, my older son Jesse was a student at Longfellow Community School that, that closed and it was a very heart-wrenching and um, very agonizing experience to go through uh, meeting with other parents who um, whose children attended that school and had to readjust their family schedule. You know, their kids have to go to a new school and, and possibly make new friends and be re and get reacquainted with a whole new environment, not just uh, educationally, but physically. Uh, a new neighborhood, a new bus routes. Uh, parents have to adjust their work schedules. And it is just, it was just heartbreaking to see. Um, my uh, youngest daughter, uh, Elizabeth, goes to Tatanka Academy and we'll be facing that decision ourselves again here within the next year or two uh, as to moving her to another school. Uh, so it is a very heartbreaking experience and, and I will uh, never support a school closing and I will find every means necessary to keep schools from closing. Uh, I am 100% against it and as a parent that has gone through that, that is just a traumatic experience for anybody to go through and, and I will never support that and I would never allow another parent or family to be affected by that directly. If, if there were severe enrollment declines, you know, um, that would be, you know, that might be almost forced on the board. Um, however, what we've seen a lot of is schools closing, as public schools anyway, and then reopening as charters. The district has um, op opened an office for uh, new, new schools and is actively promoting and even sponsoring charter schools. And I think that this is, um, this is a bad approach. Uh, the, the districts could be fixing schools. And, and the biggest problems are in the high, high poverty schools. And there you have issues like high concentrations, concentrations of inexperienced teachers. And that could be, that particular issue is something that the district is legally required to fix, but the law that requires that is ignored. It's ignored by the Commissioner of Education in Minnesota also. Um, so uh, one very simple answer was, or solution was actually put forward as part of the district improvement plan back in 2002 is to increase teacher retention um, in order um, to bring down teacher turnover rates and increase or reduce exposure of students to inexperienced teachers. And the district simply didn't seriously try to implement that. The growth projections for Minneapolis public school enrollment make it incredibly unlikely that we will have a conversation about closing a community school anytime soon. However, if I was faced with this type of conversation, school closure is an absolute last resort that I would only agree to if every other option had been exhausted. Schools are much more than buildings with classrooms. Classrooms, they are centers for our community. I believe that we should not have a school closing policy, but a support schools policy. And I feel like this question is really asking if a community is not being served and it's not serving our children, then what are we supposed to do about it? And a very clear example is North High, um, on the verge of closing, and at the same time, parents stood together and said, no, um, this can't happen. But really, what we have to take in, into consideration is the crisis. Families don't have time to wait three years or four years or however long it's gonna take to turn a school around. And I think that that's what we really need to be talking about is um, the urgency and really how did we get to this point of crisis. If the school was uh, unsafe, falling down, if it had uh, an asbestos, I mean some situation that's dangerous to kids, I would vote to close the school and rebuild. Uh, other than that, you know, I'm on this board to support Minneapolis Public Schools, and we, our schools are overcrowded to begin with, but even if they weren't, a uh, community relies on its schools. Uh, I learned from the Humphrey uh, Institute, the first 
project of urban design is school and build out. And I just think it's critical that we have community schools. So really, unless the school was unsafe, I, I can't imagine another scenario that I would vote to close a school.